Hello everyone, we are Green Task Force in NSBM Green University. For Green Week, we're gonna have an interview series named as Think Green. So now we're gonna interview Mr. Tisal Yatavara, lecturer attached to Department of Marketing and Tourism in NSBM Green University. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. So first of all, I would like to ask you, we are a green campus. How do you feel about that? Uh, well, uh, green in the simplest form of its definition, I think uh, it's being eco-friendly, right? Uh, so from my younger days itself, I have been a person who has been driven with the beauty of the nature itself, what nature has to offer us. And also uh, my utmost objective has been uh, to be eco-friendly as much as possible. So having my second education or rather higher education and having my job uh, doing here, I think uh, it's a wonderful feeling. So, if we uh, choose to ban plastic here in NSB Green University, uh, it uh, makes us to use other materials that are more expensive. What do you think about that? Should we ban plastic or get used to recycling it? Uh, yes, uh, let me uh, tell you something like this. So if you are to ban plastic now itself, now we, every one of us, are actually used to a certain way of living. So if you are to ban plastic now itself, I don't think it won't be a good thing. Why? Because we need to find replacements, we need to find uh, alternatives to plastic. So if you are to ban plastic and if you are to have more materials, it could be more expensive, it could be more energy uh, using. but. Uh, it doesn't matter even if it's energy using why the reason is if it's ener if it's more energy using i think it doesn't matter as long as it's sustainable but if it's expensive i think we need to come up with solutions and i'm pretty sure with these global innovations people corporates organizations might be able to come up with an alternative which can be affordable which can be afforded by the corporates by the organizations and by the people so in banning plastic I think now most of the people uh, have realized what bad can plastic do to this world. And I'm certainly sure that all these organizations, all these corporates are aligning their objectives to achieve uh, in, in line with all these SDGs. So my take on this is going forward, you might not have to ban plastic, but all of these organizations, all of these people knowing what bad can do, uh, what bad can be done from this plastic, all of these companies, all of these people, all of these conglomerates might opt for other uh, materials other than plastic. Thank you so much for being with us for this interview series. Sir. So our main target is, is to let our university students know about this green concept and also Sri Lankans and get attached to NSBM Green University. Thank you again.